In this video, we're going to solve the question number three, that is the numerical question from the exercise for chapter motion in a plane. So in the question, we have a car and this car travels from a location to another location. Let us name it A and B. And this journey is not done in a uniform way, but rather in individual parts. So we have three parts of journey. And for each of these parts, the car travels at a different speed and car travels for a different amount of time. And all these values have been given to us in our question. So, but effectively, if we see car is traveling from location A to B. So while doing this journey, that is while traveling from A to B, this car must have some average speed. And that is what we are supposed to find in this question. So we are done visualizing this uh, particular example and let's move on to the solving side of this. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll write all the given data that's been given to us. As I said, individual parts ke velocity and time duration diya hua hai. So we'll just call them as V1, that is speed for part one, which is 50 km per hour. Make sure you write units because it's very important. And then we have the corresponding time slot for this part, that is 30 minutes. So in question, we have given time in slots of minutes, but I want to write time in the form of hours because it will help us simplify things. So I'm going to write 30 minutes as half hour or 0 0.5 hours. Similarly, I'm going to write values for all the two parts, uh, remaining two parts. So we have with V2 as 30 kilometer per hour and corresponding timing that is T2. Now in the question, it's 15 minutes. If I convert it into hours, it will be to 0 0.25 hour or one by four hour. And for part three, we have V3, that is speed for part three, which is 70 km per hour. And we have corresponding time duration, that is T3, which in question is 45 minutes, but in R, it becomes 0 0.75 hours. Okay, with this, we have completed all our given sets of data and we already know what we are going to find. We have to find only one quantity in this question, that is the average speed for the car when it travels from A to B. Now, uh, intuitively, students might say, ki, okay, we have three sets of velocities and we average speed. So, what do we do? We add the three speed ko add karke, usko divide by three kar denge, and we get our average. Well, that might work for you in math, but not in physics. Because in physics, we have average speed dunne ka x set formula. Hai. So, V average is given as total path length. So, this is the total distance between location A and location B. So, total path length divided by the total time required for completing the journey. So, we have the journey hai from A to B. Usko jo total time lagega, usko hum total path length se divide karenge and we find our uh, average speed. Now, figuring out total path length is quite easy because we can simply add all our individual time slots and we get a total time. But we have no idea about path length. But that doesn't mean that we can our path length because we have a formula tha during the initial time of this chapter. That is, distance is given as speed into time. This is one of the most basic formula for motion. And we're going to use that formula to calculate all the individual distances that this car travels in each part. And then we're going to add those distances to get a total path. So hamara, again, our numerical has been divided into two parts. We have first part where we calculate individual distances. So calculating individual distances, I'll write S. So for this, we use formula two. So from, from formula two, I can say S1 is equal to V1 into T1. Uh, that is 50 into 0.5, which gives us, therefore, S1 is equal to 25 kilometer. Okay. Similarly, I'll also calculate the other two distances. S2 will be V2 into T2, and that will be 30 into 0 0.25. And this gives out S2 to be 7.5 kilometers and then for the remaining that is our last distance s3 which is speed in part 3 into time duration for part 3 speed in part 3 was 70 kilometer and time duration was point zero point seven five r so s3 comes out to be 
52.5 kilometer so congratulations with this we have calculated all the individual distances and now only part that's remaining for us is to calculate the average speed using the formula so the second part of our numerical is calculating average speed denoted by the symbol VAV so we'll write from formula 1 so from this formula we can say that average speed is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 as this makes up our total path length divided by T1 plus T2 plus T3 as this makes up our total time. If we substitute all the known values, we get 25 plus 7.5 plus 52.5 divided by 0 0.5 plus 0.25 plus 0 0.75. There's nothing uh, tricky that's going over here. We're just simply substituting all the values that we have been calculated or that is given to us. And if we add all this value, we get something like 85 upon 1.5. So VAV is 85 upon 1.5. So if we further simplify it, we get VAV as 56.67 kilometer per hour because all our quantities are either in kilometer or are in R. So with this, we have uh, the quantity that was required or that the task that was assigned to us was to calculate the average speed of this journey that is journey from location A to B for our car. So that's it. Make sure you write the final statement for this. And here are the screenshots. So first screenshot that you, you're supposed to take is this where you where we visualize the data and write the data. And the second screenshot is of the solution of our numerical. Here you go. I hope this helped you. Thank you.